All right, guys, we're going to go over the unboxing and setup of the longer 30 printer. So. That's cool. Comes with a couple of filters. Instruction manual. You know what? This stinks. I didn't realize they, uh, the lid that went over it was in pieces again. That's one of the parts I disliked the most about the longer 10 was putting together the... Uh, the the UV lid pulling all this paper and stuff off of it was kind of a pain. It's like the printer itself. Alright, so let's get everything lined up. Alright. Bill plate. It's right here. Power adapter. Hmm. I didn't get these with the longer tan, so I'm not sure what these are. We'll figure out in a second. Maybe it's edges for the case or maybe bumpers for when you put the the lid together. These are the bands, a card, flash drive, napkins here, and the Allen wrenches. So all the tools and stuff you'll need. And then the quick start guide for putting everything together. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get all this peeled off first, and then we'll jump into the assembly portion. I'm gonna show you how tough it is to peel this off because it tears as you're trying to tear it off. No use of trying being careful to pull it all off in one piece because it just, it honestly makes it harder. It's better just to keep ripping and going and try to hold on to a piece you started as much as possible as you go. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this. We're gonna clip out and come back in once it's all tore off. All right, so two things I noticed already that I didn't realize while I was unboxing and thought about now is it didn't come with resin this time like the longer tin. Um, luckily I have some of the other resin left over so I can test it out because my other resin is lost in shipping for some reason so I'm still waiting on that. And also what's pretty cool is these little guys. So having something like this when I was doing the longer tin would have made building this so much easier. So this should really add some ease to building this. So the notch parts are the top so if, just like that now we're gonna put these at the corner there on here on the bottom put this down and then slide it up into there Man, these little L bracket things have really, because <laughs> I, I was actually taping them together when I built the longer three. If you ever watch my video, I was taping them together just to hold them in place while I put the next one on. It was really frustrating. I'm gonna do what I did last time. I put a, rope, a rubber band around it first and then put the lid on just to give myself a little bit of tension to work with so I can hold it in place and that really helped me assemble it just a little bit easier. Do like I did last time. Stretch out with both hands. Try to make it all the way around to keep it from popping out. Okay. And that one snapped. Okay, so I'm gonna be stuck with two elastic bands. That one just snapped. Two bands seem like they're holding up just fine right now. And it looks like they want a slightly smaller screen. The screen does look smaller. Alright. Alright guys, first step to leveling the bed is we can unscrew the tank. I set it to the side. I'm setting mine on top of a shop napkin or shop paper towel. I'm not saying napkin. 
And you can actually just use the piece of paper that came with you, the little thank you letter. That works just fine. You put it right over the screen, all right? Now we're gonna get the right size Allen wrench. We're gonna loosen the four screws on the bed. Just loosen them, don't remove them. All right, enough for it to shift around like this. All right, now we're gonna unscrew this, slip the bill plate on, and tighten it down. Now from the settings, you go to settings, on the screen, move, and then the bottom center button, that's, gonna, that's the home button. So you're gonna push this, then hit the check mark, and make sure, make sure these screws are loose before you do this, and make sure there's nothing else on the bill plate but the paper, because you can crack the screen. And the check mark. All right. So once it's done moving, you're good to go. You're gonna. What I'd like to do is take my two fingers and put pressure, just enough pressure to hold it down on top of the paper, and screw these in. All right, so the paper should be able to slide around just a little bit. Should be able to feel it sliding. Feels good. Now we're gonna move it up. So I just go up, and then remove it out. Now you can go all the way up. So you can switch this on the screen to 50 millimeters, and then press up, and it automatically go up 50 millimeters. Out of your way, that way you can replace the tank. And screw the screws back in. All right, and one more thing I like to do when I first get my printer is I like to make sure the LED is working. The LEDs are working just fine, the UV LEDs. So in order to do this, you go into your settings from the beginning, LED, and then you select the, the center button here for UV light. And then you hit the check mark. If it's not touching, there we go. And that lets you know all your lights are working. Your screen's not cracked or any of that good stuff, all right? That way you don't have to do a test print and then three hours later you come back and it looks like crap and your screen's actually cracked and that's why. So now what I'm gonna do is add resin to the tank. And what you should always do is go ahead and hit the home button to get your bed back into the tank. That way you don't have to worry about resin overflow. We'll tend to pour the resin in there. The tank will fill it up more than they expect and it'll, it'll overflow the edges. All right, I'm going to insert the USB stick. Now I've already shaken up my resin. I'm going to dump it in. All right. Let us dump in. I'm gonna pour and put the lid over. All right. Now, in order to print, we're gonna be on the main menu. You're gonna hit File, and then we're gonna do the. You know, I did the Zombie Hunter head last time. Let's do that again. Zombie Hunter head. There we go. Three hours and thirteen minutes is all it's gonna take. All right, it's starting up, guys. We're going to come back and check on this in three hours to see how the print came out. All right, folks, the print is done. Let's go ahead and get it removed. All right, I have my alcohol here on standby, ready. And then we're going to screw this. Too bad. Now I'm just gonna put him inside the alcohol and shake it up a little bit.
I don't have anything special set up yet for like UV cure and stuff so I've always just been using this light right here this little flashlight um, sometimes I put it inside of like a box with aluminum foil or I'll just use my mic stand swivel it around and keep it hung on there and this usually doesn't take long the camera seems like it's trying to like I don't know like push on the but this is actually a pretty bright light the camera just looks like it's really like dialing it down so so you can't really see how bright it is, but it's really bright. So I usually keep it overhead for about two to three minutes, and then front and back two to three minutes, and that's it. But if I, if I have like a, if I do like a makeshift aluminum foil like box, then all around I leave it in there for about maybe five minutes, and it's usually good to go. I haven't had any problems with it uh, curing. It cures pretty fast, actually. That's it folks, that is the Longer 30 3D printer. Alright folks, that's it, that's the Longer 30 3D printer. Thank you.